Hello everyone. So welcome to this new session. So in the last classes we have uh, solved few problems related to the work done. Okay, using the line integrals. Okay. So now let's uh, see in brief the concept called as line integral. Okay. Uh, using this line integral, how we can form the work done. Okay. Along the uh, components of delta L. Okay. So first let's consider a, a straight line okay which has an initial position as well as the final position so i've named this initial position as point b and the final position as point a okay and along that we have uh, drawn three parallel parallel lines which is uh, giving out the electric field okay which uh, i have named it as el1 that is uh, electric field due to line 1 line 2 and line 3 and also we have named few of the components that is delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3 ok yeah so now let's see what expression we might get using these line integrals so the integral expression for the work done in moving a point charge q from one position to another from b to a is called a line integral so this is the basic definition of line integral here and here the work done is given as minus q integral of initial position to final position el vector dot dl vector where this el represents the component of this electric field along the line dl okay along the change in the uh, position of the line okay so now let e be the uniform electric field okay okay so now let the path from initial to final position be divided into three segments as i have told you delta l1 delta l2 and delta l3 and also the components of e along each segment is denoted as el1 el2 and el3 respectively so the work done in moving a charge from B to A is approximately given as so this is the way the work done is given here the formula you can see W is equal to minus Q into EL1 delta L1 plus EL2 delta L2 plus EL3 delta L3 since we have divided it into three segments that is delta L1 delta L2 and delta L3 so that's why we are getting EL1 delta L1 plus EL2 delta L2 plus EL3 delta L3 so now using the vector that is w is equal to minus q into e1 dot delta n1 that is we are using some uh, dot product here we are replacing el1 by e1 okay and we are doing this multiplication using dot product so that's why it would be e1 delta l1 plus e2 delta l2 plus e3 delta l3 okay since here uh, the electric field is the uniform electric field here which we are producing so that's why we can say that e1 e2 e3 and e all of them are equal okay so when all of these three becomes equal so generally we can take a uh, this equation would be e delta l1 plus e dot delta l2 plus e dot delta l3 right when all of them are equal to e then what we can take say is we can take e outside here i have taken e outside dot delta l1 plus delta l2 plus delta l3 okay that is minus q into e vector dot delta l from b to a that is from initial position to final position we are having three components right when we move from initial position to final position the components produced are delta l1 delta l2 delta l3 so the summation of these three will give you delta l from b to a okay yeah so that's why i have written here delta l from b to a so finally we can say that the work done expression is minus q e uh, e vector dot integral of uh, uh, initial position to final position a into uh, the uh, dl vector okay where this delta l b to a is replaced by dl vector so this is the expression you need to remember okay for the line integral a work done in a particular path where uh, the electric field is produced uh, serially okay there will, there will be multiple electric field produced in a single path using that we, uh, we can find the work done so this is the formula for that okay so let's solve one problem to be uh, clear with the concept okay so yeah that's all let's solve a problem so this is the problem here so the question is calculate the work done use in moving 4 coulomb of charge from point B 
that is it's given as 1 comma 0 comma 0 to point a 0 comma 2 comma 0 so this is the initial position and this is the final position along the path y is equal to 2 minus 2x the path they have mentioned it as y uh, it has it is y is equal to 2 minus 2x comma z is equal to 0 and in the field that is electric field is also mentioned with three sub questions here so we are going to solve this uh, three sub questions one by one okay yeah so let's start with the first sub question where e is given as phi ax words per meter right so now we know that the work done formula is minus q e dot b to a dl vector right yeah so now let's start solving that is minus q you keep it as it is and bring this e vector inside the integral so now that would be before that let's write the points from b to a b is given as from 1 comma 0 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 1 comma 0 where these are the values of x y z respectively okay and the e is given as 5 a cap x dot dl in general we can write it as a cap x dx plus ay dy plus az dz okay in general dl is represented as ax dx plus ay dy plus az dz okay so since here in the question they have mentioned only uh, the e is moving in the ax direction so that's why while integrating we are going to consider only x variables that is from 1 to 0 so now it would be minus q integration from 1 to 0 okay and now let's uh, do the multiplication that is uh, 1 by 1 so that is 5 ax vector dot ax dx so that would be ax dot ax is 1 so it would be 5 dx okay and again 5 ax uh, into ay dy that is ax vector uh, into ay vector we know that the, there are two opposite vectors if for dot product of two opposite uh, vector signs is always zero so these two uh, these two would be equal to zero so only this term is left that is 5 dx okay so yeah now it's becoming easy now the let's substitute the value of charge that is minus 4 from integral 1 to 0 5 dx that is equal to minus 4 into the integration of uh, 5 dx is uh, 5x okay from 1 to 0 so w is equal to 4 into into uh, upper limit minus lower limit so that would be w is equal to 4 into minus 5 so our answer which we are getting here is 4 is are 20 joules so this is our first uh, sub question 20 joules is the work done for the in case of the first uh, position that is 5 ax volts per meter so now let's solve the second sub question so yeah, it's similar to that of the first sub question only we uh, only one term is added that is 5x okay so now the formula remains the same minus q into uh, 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 comma 0 in place of e now we have to substitute 5x ax dot dl is equal to ax dx plus a cap y dy plus a cap z dz again since they have mentioned uh, ax vector that is the field is moving in x direction only so we are going to consider only x coordinates so that would be w is equal to minus q into 1 to 0 5x dx right hope you know how to how this term has come i have explained in the first problem also so now let's uh, simply integrate this term so w is equal to so value of q is 4 minus 4 into integration of 5x is 5x square by 2 and the limits are from 0 to 1 okay so w is equal to let's take i'm taking this 5 outside okay 5x square by 2 so let's take this 5 outside this would be minus 20 minus 20 into x square 
by 2 right from the limit 0 to 1 so that would be minus 20 into 1 by 2 minus 0 so w is equal to minus 20 into 1 by 2 2 1s are 2 tens are so the final work done is minus 10 jumps okay so this is the second sub question we have solved it the answer is minus 10 joules so now let's go to the third sub question so this is the third sub question the value of e is 5x a cap x plus 5y a cap y volts per meter so here they have given the components of ax and then ay so that's why we can say that the field is moving in both x and y direction so that's why while substituting the uh, limits we need to consider both x and y limits so minus q into 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 2 comma 0 okay so now the value of e is 5x a cap x plus 5y a cap y dot dl that is a cap x dx plus a cap y dy plus a cap z dz okay so now let's solve further w is equal to the value of q is minus uh, 4 coulomb so now the limits uh, let's keep it as it is for now 0 comma 2 comma 0 okay so now let's uh, cross multiply one by one so this term into this term would be 5x dx and uh, if we multiply this term with these two terms it is 0 so now let's go on to this term this term into this term is 0 this term into this term which we are getting it as plus 5y dy and the la last term that is again 0 so now this is the expression now we are going to consider minus 4 into the integral of 5x dx where the values of uh, the limits we are taking as from 1 to 0 for x okay because uh, it's moving in x direction plus 5y dy from 0 to 2 okay so now it's easy again simple integration minus 4 into the integration of 5x dx is 5x square by 2 limits 0 to 1 plus 5y dy 5y square by 2 from 0 to 2 sorry this is from 1 to 0 okay so now minus 4 into minus 5 into 0 by 2 that is 0 square by 2 is 0 minus the lower limit that is 5 into 1 square by 2 okay plus 5 into 2 square by 2 minus 5 into 0 square by 2 that is again 0 so w is equal to minus 5 by 2 plus 5 into 2 square by 2 1 2 square would get cancelled 5 2 is at 10 okay so w is equal to minus 4 into minus 5 plus cross multiply 2 tens are 20 by 2 2 1s are 2 2s are so w is equal to minus 2 into 5 plus uh, minus 5 plus 20 okay that is 15 so our answer is minus 30 joules okay so this is the third sub question we have solved it yeah so this was one important problem so please note it down and uh, try to solve this without uh, the reference so that's all for this session we'll see you in the next session with uh, one more concept thank you